Well, this month, Fox News' Simon Chiquette exposed how people have been abusing Michigan's bridge card system. It's a multi-million dollar problem. Now we're hearing about a $2 million lottery winner who's also cashing in on electronic food stamps. Fox 2's Murray Feldman here right now to explain that. Murray. Huel and Monica, the story is getting an incredible amount of attention and it is getting people really riled up. There is a guy out there who right now, tonight, is receiving plenty of your tax dollars. What he's doing is legal, but is it right? You decide. You're going to sit there and try to make me feel bad. You aren't going to do it. It ain't going to happen, so you might as well just ship on out. Goodbye. Okay. There are no apologies from this man, a lottery winner who is still using his Michigan bridge card. Last June, Leroy Fick won $2 million jackpot on the show Make Me Rich. Yeah, not really after the government takes taxes. He opted for the lump sum, and after taxes, it came out to about $850,000, but... Despite that windfall, he's still getting government help, a move that has some people outraged. Here he is, sitting in the parking lot, showing off his brand new convertible, and then he comes in the store and pays for his groceries with a bridge card. <laughs> really annoying knowing that he's got the money when I'm sitting here thinking, okay, my kids are eating ramen noodles again. Under federal guidelines, if a person receives a lump sum payment, the winnings are not, repeat, are not considered income. I even called him and, uh, and asked uh, about the bridge card, and uh, she said you can go ahead and keep it if you want to. Okay. And I uh, said, can I think about it? And she said, yeah. Fick's lawyer says his client hasn't done anything illegal. This guy won $2 million driving around in an Audi convertible, and he's collecting our tax money on food stamps. What would you say to those people? Um, Do you think it's ethical? From my point of view, I think so. However, plenty of people are very upset about this one. Let's take a look. Melissa Porter writes on Facebook, You wonder why people that really need help these days can't get help. It's because of people like him. He should be ashamed. Nurse Gale writes on MyFoxDetroit.com, The basis for qualification for food stamps should not be based on income but net worth. And another viewer writes, Even if he did nothing wrong, it's not right. The bridge card should be used by low-income people who cannot afford bills and groceries, adding, my husband and I live on about $1,600 a month. I would never even think of asking for food assistance. What do you think? We want to know, should the state overhaul the bridge card system or target the people who abuse it? And is he really abusing it? Log on to MyFoxDetroit.com to sound off. You can also follow the conversation on Facebook and Twitter.